Hello, welcome to the Taurus and Cosmic Sun Disc webinar. Uh, thank you for being here today. And as always, would like to walk with all of us into a quick three or even one breath dropping into the heart space. So the traditional three breath technique of going into the sacred space of the heart, simply closing the eyes, going into your physical heart, finding your light, shining your light right down into the earth, breathing in that light of the earth, that heart of Gaia, right up into your heart. The second breath connecting with source, soul, creation, God, breathing in that unconditional loving energy into the heart. And the third breath, breathing in from both earth and sky, bringing those together within you. And just let out that breath to release. Awesome. All right. So the Taurus, more cosmic sun disk. Um, to walk you through the Taurus, and the reason that we call this the Taurus, uh, just to give you a little bit of background on this particular tool. <coughs> Excuse me. So this came through in, gosh, I believe it was around 2012, 2013. Um, one of my path partners at the time, Melissa Martin, she's the one who first discovered this particular shape. Now, this shape is a seed of life. So as you see, there's the seed of life that has the six petals on it. So she took a seed of life, put the two together, and then ratcheted it to make the 12 petals. And this was called the torus because it was creating a toroidal field, a tube torus. So the toroidal field, um, if you're not familiar with the toroidal field or torus, it is simply, and it's not the bull torus, it is the torus, the toroidal field. It is kind of like how you would see the magnetics of the earth. So with earth magnetics, everybody can see that we have that north pole, the south pole, and that there's that magnetic flow of energy one direction. Um, with the torus, there's a flow of energy in one direction and another direction, but then it also spins in both directions. So the torus is actually describes the way energy flows it is an energy field and this torus uh energy field the way energy flows is found in molecules it's found in it's found in the atoms is found in um planets organs people galaxies um, it is just simply the way energy moves and flows is in a toroidal field in the torus so this is just actually creating that field very much um, like a torus. This is also a crop circle in 2009. So in 2009 in England, you can find that it was a crop circle there with the 12 petals. Uh, good morning. Good morning, Asad. Morning, Randy. Um, and I got rid of the question bar up here. So if anybody has questions along the way, please do just drop your questions in there. Um, so that's the basics of why we call it the torus and what the energy field is within this tube torus, the toroidal field. Um, so these guys, the first one that we made was actually out of the galactic ascension rings and it was phenomenal, um, because it, it is so much more than just the culmination of the six rings plus the one for the seven plus the other side's 14, so 15 rings in these things. It's more than just the culmination of 15 rings. Um, it, it exponentially creates a different energy field of that Taurus, which is really phenomenal, especially for doing healing work. Um, we no longer make all the older Tauruses that we did, like the Galactic Ascension, and then the Harmony Taurus um, was another one. And we made smaller Taurus pendants throughout the time. Um, but then currently we have the golden fire Taurus, 
Now, this one is mine. It is very well patinaed. It's two years old. Now, the Golden Fire Taurus um, was one that when we put all the Golden Fire rings together within this Taurus, and it has a thicker outside ring, when we put these all together, it really wasn't much more than a bunch of Golden Fire rings together. It wasn't creating anything really special until my sister attuned it to my light. And that's this one here. This was the original Golden Fire Taurus. Um, and then once she attuned it to me, then it shifted everything. Then this became a really phenomenal tool. And as you can see, it's been very well used throughout the years. Um, this thing has saved me throughout many of my transformations of uh, just painful physical transformations. Um, like I say, it's been in the bathtub with me, everything else throughout the years. And most people will sleep with their Taurus. So yeah, this one sleeps with me, except for now for about the past year, this one has been with my daughter. So she always has the Taurus. If I'm ever gone, she's holding the Taurus. And that's a, one of the questions that we get asked quite often is if we have if you have the Golden Fire Taurus attuned to you, can anybody else use it? Yes, of course. What the attunement actually is, is when Brenda is putting these together, um, she calls in your soul. So your soul is bringing in its light, other energies into this. And so basically, um, for like my daughter, when I'm gone, this is perfect for her to have around. It has energetics of me in it. But anybody can use your Taurus. It's just bringing through your healing light as well. So <clears throat> the Golden Fire, it is one that is still a pretty phenomenal course. So it just depends on if you're attracted to the regeneration tools, which are like the Cosmic Sun Disc is what we call the regeneration Taurus, the Cosmic Sun Disc, or if you're still attracted to the Golden Fire. Now, basically, don't look at descriptions when you go to these things, just look at the actual product images and you can get a feel for it through the product images, which one is right for you. And if you're still unsure, give us a call. Um, I'm always happy to help with, uh, with finding the right tools for you. So the Golden Fire Taurus, what happens when you purchase one of these is that Brenda gets sent a message. So Brenda Schnoes, our, our sister, um, Brenda with the Elders Three, she's the one who actually physically assembles all of the Tauruses. She has the jigs. We make all the rings here in house and then we send them to her. And so when she gets a table full of rings and she gets the order for a Taurus, she'll have your name and your email and she'll go through and she'll call in your soul. And basically your soul will go through and pick which rings. She'll put them together. She'll make the two seed of life and then she'll wire them onto the, the outer ring. And during that, she will send you photographs of the process. So basically it's, and, and then she'll also email you of things that come up along the way. So basically, it's like getting a session with Brenda in the meantime, um, because your soul is right there with her and she has her attention with you as she's assembling your Taurus. So that's something that's always been in the Golden Fire Tauruses is to have that assembled. Um, so anyway, um, Golden Fire Taurus, Really phenomenal. Like I say, it's been a lifesaver to me through throughout the past couple of years. Then we move to the Cosmic Sun Disc. Again, one of the originals. So this guy is nice, well patinaed. Um, and of course, you can clean your tools by dipping them in that uh, vinegar salt solution. And it shines them back up again. Well, it brings some more coppery. So Cosmic Sun Disc. <sighs> this is the standard size version. A little bit larger than the Golden Fire. The outer rings quite a bit larger on the Cosmic Sun Disc. That's a heavy duty outside ring. Cosmic Sun Disc is a super powerful tool. Um, I love this thing. This particular medium sized one is one that is one of the base parts of our new ascension pyramids is this sun disc. Um, boy, check out the testimonials and check out the product page and it'll give you a lot more information uh, about these. And we do really don't have enough testimonials on these yet, but for my testimony on this guy, the very first time this was made, I slept with this above my head. Um, 
because I usually have big rings that hang, you know, right above my head horizontally. It's kind of like wearing a halo when you're laying in bed. You have this right there. So the first night I slept with this right above my head, I tell the story to everybody that I swear I sprained my pineal gland because it opened me up just huge. And it felt like my pineal was stretched and um, more supple. It felt larger. It was really a phenomenal thing to experience that. And that went with me throughout the rest of the time, um, just that, that expansiveness. Um, so the cosmic sun discs versus the golden fire. So the golden fire, um, the Tauruses, no matter what, they're creating a toroidal field. So that's why um, the Tauruses are so phenomenal for using on the body and doing body work because basically they're creating that Taurus, that toroidal field, and they are basically harmonizing organs, tissue, everything else that is also flows as that toroidal field. Now, there was actually, um, back when we were making the Galactic and then we were switching to the Harmony, there was a gentleman in Golden, Colorado who had a cancer treatment facility and they were using the, I can't remember if it was the Harmony yet that we had or if it was the Galactic ring, but he was using that Taurus as one of the base parts of his cancer treatment facility because these fields, um, the, the tensor rings anyway, are working on the emotional field. And then when you add it into the toroidal form, it is a lot stronger of a field. And so they were using those in cancer treatment facilities because basically we always see cancers beginning in the emotional body. And it is clearing. It's, it's clearing all of the debris within those emotional fields as much as you can let go of. Um, and that, you know, because that's, again, we, when we're doing energy work as energy healers, any energy healer, you work here first where everything begins to manifest. And then you do the work there and then it comes into the physical. Just like a dis-ease will begin out here in the, in the energetic, usually the emotional bodies. And then it drops down into the physical and manifests into the physical. So that's why our tools are so flipping powerful is because we are working on all levels and layers. Okay, so anyway, the Taurus, great for holding on to the body, body work, bringing comfort. Golden Fire has been pretty phenomenal for that. But the Galactic, or <laughs> sorry, <laughs> the Cosmic Sun Disc out of the Regeneration Rings. Now, these guys, um, the reason I went on that little segue trip right there was to talk about more of what the toroidal fields are doing with these higher frequency tools like the regeneration. So one of the things that we're seeing the regeneration rings do anyway is bringing a higher spin rate to your physical, to the molecules within the body. And of course, when we put that into a toroidal field, into the torus, then it is bringing even a higher spin rate. So basically when we were seeing that this was above the head as I was sleeping, and not only was it doing the, the, um, the opening and you know bringing that pineal more supple, making it connect more, but it was also bringing in those higher torsion fields. What we mean by the higher torsion fields is like your Merkaba. So your Merkaba creates a toroidal field. I don't have a Merkaba sticker right here with me, but basically, Merkaba is the star tetrahedron. Within there, there is a toroidal field. That is something that is found around the physical body. So again, when you have the cosmic sun disk, it is bringing in those higher torsion fields of those higher aspects of you. And those bringing in those torsion fields throughout your body. And it is aligning your own Merkaba, your own torsion fields. Even your heart has a torsion field, that tube torus. So your heart is actually a torus as well of electromagnetic energy. Um, and so everything in our physical reality is moving in that toroidal fashion. So this is bringing in those higher torsion fields into the physical. And we're seeing basically that that is bringing a higher spin rate to the molecules within your body. As we are becoming light emitters, um, we're just, that's just what we're doing. And these regeneration tools, and especially the cosmic sun disk that's made with regeneration rings is really helping to bring that through. Um, so anyway, the standard sized one, then we have the giant one, which is in our, like our ascension chambers. Um, 
you know, the, the giant sun disc. That is a phenomenal one. Um, that's one that, you know, these guys have always liked to spin. So a lot of people will get like those battery powered um, spinners. They're called, I think they're just called spinners, like on Amazon. And they're just a little tube that you put two D batteries in and they're like disco ball spinners, but they have, they'll spin, you know, like five revolutions a minute, something like that, nice and slow. But anyway, you can hang those up on a spinner and it'll just spin and it'll move energy. Um, so like with the giant sun discs, if you hang one of those, like on a disco ball spinner that can handle that 15 pounds of giant sun disc, that thing I am feeling it is going through and basically changing the physical structure of the entire environment that it's in. To me, it feels like it's raising the frequency and vibration of your physical environment. Pretty phenomenal stuff. Um, a lot of people put a crystal inside of this, especially the Galactics and the Harmony. Um, they used a little bit of a boost. So we used to put a crystal inside of here. And I've seen if I had any hanging up here in the shop. I have some giant ones that we actually have crystals inside of there. Um, basically, you can just pull it apart just a little bit, and you can fit a crystal in there. Um, just something extra that you, if you want to do, if you want to hang it up so that it is spinning and moving energy. For me, though, sleeping with it by the bed, man, that's the that's a phenomenal way. And of course, all the tools work better with us when when we're not you know, conscious because then it's working on our physical a lot more. It's working on our spiritual, you know, it's kind of like when we're stepping out of the way type thing. Um, but then plus at night, if you have anything that you want to work on in the physical, it's great. It's right there. You can place it on the places that you need it. Um, so really sleeping with the tools is phenomenal. And then of course we're in the bling and um, I was just reading the comments here. And hello, everybody. Um, so, yeah, I, I wear mine as a big piece of bling, the the small sun disc. Um, three inches, still pretty heavy duty. And it's 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 a heavy little guy. But um, it's, it's a great personal piece that you can carry with you. Again, you can use it for body work. You can use it to run energy. Basically, if you do any kind of energy work, like running Reiki, anything like that, or if you're just running your own energy, these are phenomenal. You can also have that in your hand, and you can run that energy with that. Um, it just amplifies everything. So anyway, that's some of the basis of the Taurus tools that we have. And of course, we have the smaller pendants, which... We're still perfecting the smaller pendants. That's been a process throughout the years of getting those guys perfected. We do have one of the, um, the small pendants in silver uh, that you can find on the website. That's a Taurus. And that one actually has one side of it is the golden fire. And one side of it, uh, the seed of life, is the regeneration ring. So we've kind of put them both together. Um, energetically, it's a phenomenal tool, that little Taurus pendant. Um, but we're still working on perfecting um, everything with it. So we just make them in small batches. And again, you can find those on the website. Um, yes, the, and the one in my hand, this is the three inch right here. And um, that's the three inch cosmic sun disc. Um, pretty powerful little tool. My favorite size, still this one. And actually, I would love to have the giant one hanging up in my home, but... Um, we don't want to make them too far ahead of time. The giant ones we make um, on demand, basically, so that they don't sit around patina. Okay, so there is something new that we just brought out this morning with the Cosmic Sun Discs. So now then, you can actually go to the product page with Cosmic Sun Discs, and you can get the attunement, just like the Golden Fire, and have that put into your Cosmic Sun Disc. So basically the Cosmic Sun Disc, whatever, uh, I don't even know what the price is on those. Whatever the price is, you now have an option to add in that soul attunement with Brenda. So basically what Brenda does is Brenda will come in and um, she gets all these rings. And 
when she receives an order and somebody requests the soul attunement for the cosmic sun disk, no matter the size, she will then call in your soul. Sometimes your soul will help pick the rings that go into your disk. She will take photographs of the process of her um, creating the seeds and then wiring those together. And then she will also send an email along with the photos. She'll send an email of things that come up or that were cleared or that were done during that process. Because basically when she sits with your soul, it's, um, you know, and holding the space, the soul will show up and, and ask for certain things to be witnessed or to be assisted with. Um, and she just does it while she's putting together your sun disc. So phenomenal option. That's like 44 bucks. Um, usually sessions with Brenda are 88 bucks. So, I mean, it's, 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 it's like a session with her basically. Um, so anyway, yeah, that's, that's a new, a, a new thing that we can do as of today with cosmic sun discs is you can have that attuned to your light. Um, so what happens when you get it attuned to your light, basically it can amplify things, um, because it's bringing through your light more and it's just making it more personalized to you. But then plus you get the, you know, that, that time with Brenda. Um, Noel asking about hanging the three inch cosmic sun disc over your bed. Yes, you can totally hang this over your bed. Um, the three inch cosmic sun disc to me, it creates a smaller field. Um, just looking at it to me, it's creating a smaller field. I would say, have it close to you, you know, within, within like three feet is what I would say with this guy with, and, and of course with these, when you get closer to the epicenter of the Taurus, the more potent and powerful it is. So of course, having them on the body is the most powerful, but you can still feel that effects farther out into the field. The standard sized one, um, to me, this one just innately as it sits is about the size of a room is, is just what the strongest portion of that field looks like to me, where the giant one is basically to me, I see it as covering a little bit larger than a house and yeah, extending beyond a house. Um, so, anyway and then just going back to some questions here so so each sun disc looks different since brenda works with the individual soul well um yeah so basically if she if brenda does an attunement with with the sun disc as she's creating it for you it will have a different energetic it'll have everything that the sun discs do but then it's going to have its own flavors of energetics that come through it as well um, and then another question, if we already have the sun disc is getting the attunement from Brenda, something we still need to do. No, you do not, you do not have to have the attunement with Brenda at all on the sun discs. Um, because the sun discs really are going to be working with you anyway. They're going to be working with anybody within their field. So having the attunement isn't going to be a really huge deal. Basically to me, what the attunement would be more for would be the short term even of just having the work done with Brenda as she puts it together. But yet in the long term, it can still bring that flavor of your energy through it. But you can also intend that. So if you're giving this to a loved one, they're like, you know, me where I leave my golden fire one with my daughter, you can just put those intentions into there yourself um, that it is bringing through whatever the energetics that are in the highest and best that you can put into here. It's kind of like the generators, um, the tensor field generators in that because of the Taurus within here, a Taurus will hold intentions, but because this is a higher frequency Taurus, it is only going to hold the intentions that are there on that higher soul level intentions, not necessarily our human intentions, unless they are very much in alignment with those higher intentions. Um, so, I don't know if that answers your, your question fully about this, Pam, um, you know, about the attuning of it, but, um, with, with, a, if you have a sun disc already, 
um, and you want to have it attuned to you, basically, I would suggest getting a hold of Brenda and just getting, you know, a regular session done with her. And like I say, her sessions are affordable, especially for what you get. And in her in the session that you have with her, you can just ask her to attune your sun disk. And, and I'm sure she could be happy to do that. Um, and then another question, will cosmic sun disk help shielding with entity and demon attacks in sleep? So the cosmic sun disk um, and the golden fire, both of these are of that higher frequency and vibration. So basically within this field, anything like entities, things like that, lower vibration beings do not want to come into this field. Um, if they do come into this field, they are most likely transformed. Now, there are so many different levels and layers of, of energies out in the cosmos. Um, for most all ghosts, waywards, entities, things like that, they will not come into the field unless they're ready for the transformations to take place for themselves, their, their higher connection to their higher selves. So that's that's it. I mean, you once in a while, if you are if you are way up there, way out there, and you are dealing with bigger bigger beings, um, you know, sometimes that does take consciousness work to to do that clearing. And again, that stuff that that Brenda said, you know, that Brenda does is she does some of that really higher level stuff. But for anything, all this lower level stuff, yeah, no, they'll they'll stay. They'll stay away unless they're ready for their own transformations. Um, so yeah, there's <sighs> phenomenal tools. Um, this is still one of my favorites, and I really love it in the pyramids. One of these days, we're going to have the mini pyramids available. Uh, we're making prototypes right now, and this is the basis of them. And then we use, um, we have a new um, Gaia sphere out there too. And that new Gaia sphere is the regeneration. That's the one that sits on top of the ascension pyramids we make. And um, for the question about um, the, the stuff in the sleep, the new Gaia spheres are phenomenal for people who do a lot of astral work things at night to help bring them back in fully. Um, so anyway, please do check out the, the Gaia spheres if, if you need stuff for sleep um, and issues are coming back. So let's see, somebody has a question here. Um, another question, and this is just a question about the harmonic creation field trio, the same as the gateway pendant. And yeah, I'd be happy to answer that. Yep, the harmonic creation field trio is the gateway pendant. Um, and then somebody's just asking about an infinite heart webinar, which is a great idea. I think that might be, I don't think we have a um, webinar on the infinite heart. So we'll definitely put that one on our list. Um, and then a question about asking about our story location. We're in the Black Hills of South Dakota. So um, we're actually about five and a half hours north of Denver. Um, you know, so we're, we're fairly accessible. We have the Rapid City Regional Airport only 40 miles from here. Um, so, you know, it's just a place where you can fly or drive into. And basically, if you do want to come in a visit, um, basically, you just set up an appointment. We, we do a thing here in the studio where we have the, the four chambers set up, um, and five chambers set up. And out of the five chambers, um, you get an hour session. You get, you know, you get to go through the chambers. You get to go visit our manufacturing facility. And we only charge like 60 bucks for the hour um, per person to come through and and to be here in the studio. So, um, yep, you are definitely welcome to, to come here to South Dakota. So, anyway, Cosmic Sun Disc, phenomenal tool. Um, and if you guys don't have any other questions, we will just tie this one up, this nice 29-minute 20, session. Um, we really look forward to doing some workshops, some webinars. There is some phenomenal stuff that's coming through right now. Um, just this morning, Brenda and I added some things to the tools that we are hoping comes through all the tools that we've created. And that is helping to release 
programs and beliefs in a much higher way. It's something that we've always been working on is releasing programs and beliefs and the tools have always held space for that. But now then we're putting in the tools of being a witness for you on a soul level for your soul to release programs, beliefs and traumas that no longer serve you. This is huge. That's some of the huge work that we are, that we've been didn't doing recently. And we're hoping that that all stuck within the tools into the authority templates. So we'll certainly see. Um, another question, when will the pendant come out again? Um, right now, I believe that there's still a couple pendants um, of the little Taurus pendants. And my apologies, I forget what they're even called on the website, but I believe they're the Taurus pendant. Um, so anyway, you can certainly check out the website. Um, Silver is sold out, Rosa says. Okay, we'll get on that. We'll get another run of them coming and then we'll have some available. We usually make them about six at a time. So uh, look for them here this week um, or early next week. And hopefully we'll have some of those silver ready for you. So <sighs> thank you guys. Really appreciate your support through all these years. Um, things have just been growing so fast and so exponentially. Um, and, and we've all had our own personal growth and the growth as a studio has been phenomenal. Um, and so thank you guys all for, for joining us. Um, oh, and somebody was just asking about a hint to expect the new tools you just told about. Actually, what we did is so, so again, the etheric templates that we create when, when Brendan and I work on the energetic aspect of the energy tools of any of the physical tools, we work on the energetic counterpart of them. And so when we do the work there, like we did this morning of putting in, holding the witness for anybody who has a tool to clear programs, beliefs, and traumas, um, that's put in there. And so any tool that we have ever created over the past 10 years, that is in every one of those tools. So the tools that you buy are automatically updated if your soul chooses to allow the updates. They're automatically updated. Um, so that's that's another beautiful thing about these tools is, you know, we don't we don't want them to ever go out of style. Like the Galactic Ascension is one that we haven't done the updates with, but we haven't made that in years. The Golden Fire, the Harmony, Regeneration we keep those updated so that they're always shifting and changing as we grow, as you grow, as the earth grows, as the universe grows and expands. We try to keep these tools up to date for everybody. Um, it's exciting times right now, you guys. It really is. And these tools are simply training wheels to help us along because we are the ones who are becoming the expansion of creation. We are becoming light. We're shifting and changing the entire universe. So thank each and every one of you guys for being here and doing all that work. Even if you're not doing anything, we're doing the work. All right. Thank you guys. Take care. Till next time.